Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video uh, on voiceover, answering some questions, hopefully answering some questions, hopefully not just me rambling, that's what happens in a lot of my videos, but you guys don't seem to really complain, except for that those two people that keep thumbs down like uh, every video. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, I don't know how to please them, I don't know how to please you. Um, but anyway, today we're talking about, we're answering a question in bulk, so I get a lot of questions through comments, through emails, through Facebook questions on dozens of different voiceover websites asking what my opinion is on this particular website, on this one, like um, mannyvoices.com or uh, Bidalgo, Freelancer, uh, Voiver, those, like so many sites that are similar to other sites they're just different sites and i'm just going to cut cut that off right now um there's not that many websites that i actually do business on there's a lot of websites that i have my account on that have an account on and that i put my demos on but i don't do business on all of these websites and yes in the past i have told people to go and put their demos on all these websites their professional demos on all these websites but I've never told anyone to use every website ever. In fact, in the past, I've told you to, you know, narrow it down and to not spread yourself so thin. So I don't review all the websites. I don't participate in all the websites, nor do I recommend you do that. I would never recommend that you do that because, my God, that would be a lot. There are hundreds thousands of voiceover websites and you really only need five and i'm not saying that there are five particular ones that you have to have but really all you need is five if you can't make money on five websites then it's not the website it's not the website at all there are five websites that you know there are, there, are, there are technically two that you really should have uh, if you're doing character work, like me, and a lot of the people that watch my channel. If you're doing character work, there are, you know, two main websites, Fiverr and Casting Call Club. There are a few others, but those are the ones that I recommend, and the reason is, is because these two websites, number one, if you Google character work or voiceover, you will find them really, really close to the top and, and on the front page. Especially if you search character voiceover. In fact, if you search voiceover in general, I don't know if this is just me or if this is just for America, but Fiverr is one of the top three that shows up on Google. Therefore, really should be the one that you're on. Because if a client goes on Google, types in voiceover, Fiverr is one of the top three, good chance they're going to click on it. I've quite often I've seen it as number 1 and they click on it. So you need to be on that website. Period. Fiverr period. Regardless of what voiceover you do. That one is a must. If you're doing character work, Casting Call Club. And the reason I say Casting Call Club is because there have been other websites that have come and gone during my 13 14 years of doing voiceover. And they've I'm not saying professional, that was professional the whole time. It's just when I picked up a mic and first recorded something and then made money off my voice was 14 years ago. But since that time, there have been lots of websites that have come and gone that focused on character work. Casting Call Club is the only one that popped up, made a name for themselves, marketed themselves, and then listened to criticism and improved their website. One of the things they've added and changed recently, and I'll probably do a video going more into Casting Call Club, do a, do a revisit because they've changed so much, was they actually have a better, when you go on to look at the, the available gigs or the available roles or auditions, they've changed up the format and it, it, it looks so much better. It's easier to read right out of the gate. You can just look at it and just determine whether or not that's for you 
or not because you can't just be opening every single tab. I used to just open every single tab and then go through close. No, 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 no. Now you can just scroll down and get a better idea whether or not that role is for you. So Casting Claw Club is improving and they've been getting better clients. I've seen some notable clients on there. So that's one for character work. And of course, always I recommend ACX if you're doing audiobook or if you're someone who's not quite sure which area of voiceover you want to get into fully and you want to kind of like get a good sample of voiceover in general, those are the three ones. Um, after that, the other two websites are mostly up to you. And the web the other two websites don't have to be voiceover websites. They're just, these are the ways that you make money. And there's so many other ways that you can make money rather than going and doing auditions. Marketing is a huge thing. And the reason I say five is because you can only focus so much on a particular website. If you're doing 20 or 30 or 100 websites, it's going to be too much. So if you're on Fiverr, Casting Call Club and ACX, you have two platforms that you can be on. And this does not include your own website. Your own website is something else. Because it's not something that you technically really have to work to get good at. It's just a portfolio. It's just a portfolio website. So I don't actually include that one. That's the one exception. But the other two are marketing. And they're normally social media. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Whatever marketing, like social media marketing platform that you know how to use or think you can learn and put the most time and energy and money into, those are the other two. Now, let's say you're, you're, you're not doing audiobook and you're only doing Casting Call Club and Fiverr. Well, then you need, the, you need another social media platform. You need another one to add to that. Just because I feel like five websites is enough. Five websites you know, is, is good enough for a particular person, you know, because you have to, basically what you're doing, you're not just, you're not just putting your, your demos there. You need to put your demos on all the platforms that you can find that you think eventually you might want to do business on, but you need to focus on getting better improving and putting the most time and energy into five websites. Meaning these are ones that you're watching other people's videos on how to get better at. You're learning how to better market, how to better do better thumbnails or do better catch catchphrases, keywords, what's the best thing to market, how's the best way to audition, all that kind of stuff. What's the best way to communicate? And each website has its own kind of learning curve it's own kind of niche uh on online it's own kind of it's used in a different way especially when it comes to the social media twitter is way is completely different than facebook facebook is completely different than youtube and instagram and so on they're all very very different and you have to go and basically watch you know videos seminars get coached by people to learn how to use these things and if you're trying to do that on 20 to a hundred websites, you're going to burn yourself out. Not, you know, at first you need to just focus on five. If you can't make any money on these five and you can't, you can't get business, you know, through the social media to the actual platforms where you make money off of, then it has nothing to do with the websites. Absolutely nothing. So I'm not saying that you can't go and, you know, audition on Bidalgo or Voice Bunny or Voiver or Many Voices or whatever. I'm not saying that you can't do that. You absolutely can. If you see someone else's video that they're like, oh, this is how you use it and you get it, like you, it clicks like it does, like Fiverr does for me, then absolutely take advantage of that. But I get a lot of people asking, what do you think of this, 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 this? It's not the website. It's not the microphone. And it's not how much money you're spending. It has more to do with how well you understand certain things, how well you understand your microphone, how well you, how well you understand treatment, how well you understand editing, how well you understand 
marketing, all this kind of stuff, and auditioning. It's It has more to do with that and less to do with it just being, oh, that's just the best platform. Like there's a platform that if you're on it, then you don't got to do anything. Money just flows in. That's not going to happen. And it never will. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just ne never going to happen like that. You always have to, even the biggest influencers on Instagram and, you know, YouTube, they had to build up to that point. Sure, they're huge, but they weren't huge all the time. And they either spent money to improve that, you know, channel or platform, and they also spent money to market, or they made deals, or they learned the best way to work the algorithm. They did something. They worked at it. And whatever website or platform that you're on, you have to work at it. And that's why I say five. Pick five. Depending on what kind of voiceover you're getting into, pick five. If it's only two actual voiceover websites, three three for social media and marketing. If it's three, then, then two for social media and marketing. If you get to a point where you understand those websites, you get them, and you're making money, and it's not a hassle, it's not trouble, it's not a hassle, then you can add more. Then you can add more. But... If you're just starting out, don't worry yet. Take your time and don't try to spread yourself so thin. I mean, maybe you get $20 off this website, $20 off that website, $100 off this one. Wouldn't it just be better to just focus all your time and energy on one? I mean, for most of us, we still have a day job when we first start out anyway. And so there's no reason to try to like... We all want to quit the day job. Uh, don't worry. I I understand. And, you know, we want to get out of that and go right into voiceover, like, immediately. But you can't. You have to take your time. So, there you go. That's it. Um, there are, there are going to be some websites that I will review, you know, as time goes on. But most of them really just seem the same. And really just kind of blend together or, you know, are too similar and are used too similarly to really even be worth a review. The ones that I've suggested, Casting Call, Club, Fiverr, and ACX, are three completely different websites. They're completely different in their marketing, auditioning, and client communication. They're completely different. They are very unique in their own little place. A lot of the others are going to be things like that are, you know, basically just modeled after voices.com or voice123. A lot of them are going to be like that, where, you know, someone's looking for someone, they, they got their list in the audition, and that's basically it. And each one of those websites are, they're not specific, they're just voiceover in general. So, you know, doing phone messaging, audiobook, commercial, cartoon, video game. They're spread really, really thin. And there's so many more people on those kinds of websites because it's kind of a scattergun shot kind of thing. So it's harder to get noticed. But if you focus on a website where you can be more specific because Fiverr breaks it down into different categories and Casting Call Club is specifically for animation and ACX is specifically for audiobook, it's easier for you to get a foot in the door, get noticed, and make a difference. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new, bell for notifications, and leave down in the comment section below if you'd like to see any other videos or have any questions or want to still ask me about a different website. Oh, totally fine. 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 Totally fine. Yeah, and until next time, peace.